Have you ever wondered how hybrid photographers, or those of us who use both film and digital, manage to shoot with both without dropping either one? We're answering that and more today. This is Bite Size Business, where we're helping entrepreneurs become the hero of their own creative small business. I'm your host, Abby Grace. I'm an international wedding photographer who also loves educating for creative small business owners. So here on Bite Size Business, we share a lot of strategy for creative entrepreneurs and also tips and tricks for growing photographers. So if that sounds like your brain is strawberry jam, make sure you hit subscribe. Just over a year ago, Matt and I went on a retreat with a few of our photography friends, and our friend Devin showed up wearing one of these. It's a Hold Fast Moneymaker strap. I was a little bit intimidated at first because these look like holsters, and at first I thought the only people who used these were like really intense nature photographers, people who took their cameras on hikes, that kind of thing. But what I ended up realizing was that the Hold Fast Moneymaker strap was an answer to a question that I didn't even know I had. So I've been shooting film for six years at this point, but 2017 was the first year that I implemented film into my wedding workflows. And what I found was that I was actually losing a lot of time to picking up my digital camera and putting my film camera on the ground and vice versa. And since I didn't want to ask my second shooter to constantly be a second pair of hands that I could trade cameras off with, I knew there was another solution that needed to happen, but I didn't know that this was it until I saw Devin wearing his. So today I'm going over a few reasons why I love my Holdfast Moneymaker strap and then three things that you're going to want to also look out for. First thing that I love is that my Holdfast allows me to shoot with two cameras at a time. Usually that means film on my right and digital on my left. Like I said, I was losing a lot of time to picking cameras up and putting them down. And let's be totally honest, seeing your wedding photographer put a three or $4,000 camera and lens combination on the ground is maybe not the most professional way to present yourselves to your clients. So what the Holdfast did was allow me to put both my cameras on my person at the same time. And what I love is that the Holdfast actually keeps my cameras within hands distance. So they're not super low, they're not too high. It's a really convenient place for my cameras to rest because I can shoot with this one and then when I'm done, pick this one up. I don't have to worry about dropping my cameras, they're both in hand's reach. On the occasion that I'm shooting with two digital bodies, say we're in a really dark church and I can't shoot with film, shooting with two digital bodies allows me to have two different lenses on me at one time. So maybe when the bride's proceeding down the aisle, I wanna have my 50 millimeter on this hand, and then when I wanna turn around to photograph the groom's reaction, I put the 35 on this one. So I love that it gives me a lot more options without having to like jostle with the lens inside my Kelly Moore bag or pick a camera up from the ground and and, you know, switch back and forth like that. Second thing I love about the Hold Fast Strap is that it frees up my hands. So before I started shooting with film on wedding days, I was only shooting with one digital body and I was using a wrist strap instead of a neck strap. So if I wanted to illustrate something to my bride and groom while using both of my hands, using jazz hands, something like that, I would have to take my digital camera and rest it in the crook of my arm, which meant I could only like use this hand like a T-Rex arm. As you can imagine, there were a few situations where I almost dropped my camera. I actually think I did drop my camera on one occasion, Ugh. which which again, not the most professional thing that you can do in front of a client. So I love that the Holdfast allows me to let both cameras rest down by my hips and use both my hands to signal to the bridal party, to wave at someone if I need to, to jostle with my bag, switch out my card. That was another thing that I was having trouble with when I wanted to switch out a memory card. I'd have to keep my camera like this, go into my bag, pull out my memory cards. Again, risking dropping your camera. So the Holdfast allows me to put both cameras down by my hips and do whatever I need to with my hands without worrying about dropping my equipment. Third on our list of things I love about my Hold Fast, let's be honest, it makes me look like a total BA. You show up to a wedding wearing one of these buddies and people are like, oh my gosh, she's totally legit, we should definitely take her seriously. All joking aside, I have noticed that as a young female photographer, it can sometimes be a little bit more difficult for me to capture the attention of a room or a full bridal party in the midst of bridal party pictures. Whereas when I show up and I'm wearing this and I greet the groomsmen to learn their names, some of the first things out of their mouth are usually, oh my gosh, you look like you're about to go stop a bank robbery or holy cow, this girl looks super legit. So not only does it give me something to joke about with my groomsmen, but it also shows them just from a very visual standpoint, hey, I know what I'm doing, I've got this, and you can trust me, not only are we gonna have fun, but I'm also also gonna get the job done quickly. Now for three things to look out for with your hold fast. So ladies and some gentlemen, be aware that these grommets back here can tangle long hair. When I first started shooting with my hold fast, my hair was about to here, so I never had any trouble wearing it down. But the longer it grows, the more I have noticed that it starts to tangle. So my anticipation is that I'm gonna be wearing my hair up quite a bit during wedding season, which isn't unusual, especially when it's hot, but it's just something to look out for. Next, you're gonna to wanna to avoid leaning forwards or backwards too quickly. Let's say you're trying to take a flat lane on the ground with the cell phone um, and you lean forward super quickly, what can happen is that both of your cameras can clank together. So you just have to be aware of that when you're leaning forwards or backwards. 
Lastly, you're gonna to wanna to watch out for walking through doorways. Because both of your cameras are now gonna be at roughly hip level, if you don't account for that extra width on your body, you can accidentally bang your cameras into a doorway. So usually what I do is if I'm passing someone or it's like a narrow doorway in an old manor home, I will either pick up my cameras or simply turn sideways so that I don't get that heart sickening thud that happens when your $3,000 camera hits the door frame. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit like and then definitely subscribe because there's so much more where this came from. Also, if you're a new-ish wedding photographer, we've got an essential gear guide for you. You can grab it with the download link in the show notes below. We'll catch you guys next Friday on Bite Size Business.